can always count on the NVIDIA bros to show up to the comment section to confirm exactly how I'm feeling about something. So guys, welcome back to Frog Boy X1 Gaming. I'm Andrew, and yes, today I've decided to sell the 40, 4080 Super. Um, I'm going to get rid of it. I don't need it. I would much rather focus that money into like my camera gear or something else. Um, I am super happy with the 7800 or the 7900 XTX. I think this card is an absolute monster and 100% does everything I need it to do. As you know, I recently bought a 3440 by 1440p monitor. That is my gaming resolution. That is what I play on. I do not need anything more than that. And if I wanted to play at 4K, my 7900 XTX can play at 4K if I if I choose to. So let's talk about this let's talk about the reasons why i decided to go ahead and sell the 4080 super and um it's not because i don't like the card i mean it is it is fine if i had just the 4080 super i would probably be happy with it because i wouldn't know the truth about how wonderful amd is so it's not that it's not that the 4080 super is a bad card it is that i like the amd 7900 xtx experience significantly more and as much as I try to go back and forth with myself about it, I keep coming to the same conclusion that like, look, man, you're just not happy with the NVIDIA brand. Like you're not, you're, you're, you're not as happy with NVIDIA as you are with AMD. Um, it, it's crazy, my friends. I put it, I put the, I put the 4080 Super in there and the whole time I'm just thinking about, gosh, I wish I had the, I wish I had the uh, AMD card in here. It's crazy, man. I, I honestly do believe that people that buy AMD and like AMD can literally look past and see that, like, look, man, NVIDIA is, it's not everything everybody thinks it is all the time. I mean, it it is flashy, and it does give you a badge of, like, yeah, you're one of the cool kids because you got NVIDIA, but other than that, I don't know, like I said in the last video, most people on NVIDIA are rocking like 3060 cards, bro. They're rocking 3060s, a card you can't even use ray tracing on. You can't even really, yeah, you know what I mean? So so when, when, the, when, when the NVIDIA bros show up to the, to the comments section telling me stuff like, well, it's currently your best card, I'd sell everything and just get a 4090 though. Really? Really, dude? Man. Think about this for a second. Sell everything and get a 4090. Why would I do that? If I'm happy and satisfied with a 7900 XTX, why would I be happy with, with, with a 4090? It's just more of the same. And more of the same is not what I'm excited about. If I look at the whole NVIDIA experience from, from top to bottom and I, and I utilize that, it doesn't give me the same experience that I get with AMD. Now with AMD, I have a whole different experience that I like. How would spending more money on a 4090 provide a better experience than a 4080 if I'm just getting more frames? I'm already getting the visual experience. I'm just getting more frames. Like, are you is is DLSS better on a 4090? Does it do something better image quality wise to make it better? Does the is the frame generation better on? You, you see where I'm going with this, guys? The 4090 is not going to solve my problem at all. It, it won't even come close. It is just another waste of money that will ultimately lead me to gaming on AMD. So, now let's read the next one. Just sell it, and then you can make another 100 videos on how, of how trash it is. Can't wait. In fact, by the time I wake up tomorrow, I've no doubt you'll have another. Well, there you go, here's your other one. I didn't make that video to trash the 4080. I haven't made any videos to trash the 4080. All I've done was explain in the best detail that I can, why I like AMD over NVIDIA. And I'm sorry that you guys get so emotional. Like, that's emotional. That is emotional, bro. You're like, I can't believe you don't like my trillion dollar company as much as I do. Uh, just sell it and don't talk about my, just don't, just, just don't talk about my NVIDIA, I love them. 
Uh, uh, really? Really, man? Come on. Come on, bro. Really? I don't care. Like, I, I'm glad you like NVIDIA. Handle it. Play with it. You know? Nobody's telling you to go out and buy anything other than your NVIDIA, bro. Like, you, you surround yourself in a bubble of other people, like-minded individuals, and pretty soon, that's why you guys are all in my comment section. I don't care about your love for NVIDIA. I'm, I'm, I'm giving you my honest opinion on it. Uh, clearly, I've got the money to buy both. Clearly, I've got the money to experience both and love and and play with both. Nvidia just doesn't cut it for me. I do not think that the experience that Nvidia delivers for me is worth it. I don't care. I don't use it. I, I have no desire. I was ready to quit PC gaming on the 3080. Not one of the 40 series cards that I've bought this generation have been able to change that. You know what did change that was AMD. AMD has had me not touching my consoles for a, for over for almost a year now. For almost a year, I have moved forward and haven't looked back because of AMD. Nvidia could not do that, and to this day, still cannot do that. So let's read the next one. I don't think you're crazy, man. You obviously, uh, you just obviously have a set preferences that are what. <laughs> Most people, <laughs> that are not what most people like, um, LOL, the whole point of 4K is to be sharp and crisp. If that's not what you're into, then that's fine, man. But it kind of comes off as you think everyone that likes that is crazy. Well, let me address that because I, 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 get, where, I get where you're coming with that. Maybe thinking other people are crazy. There's, okay. Some people love that that 4K look. I, I and I've said this multiple times. I don't have a problem with that. Like I get it. Like I understand when I see 4K and I see a 4K game. Like I understand why people would love that. Um, that was me on the Xbox One X. That was me on the Xbox One X. I was I was like, whoa, man, 4K looks so good. And then something happened along the along the you know from the from the launch of you know um, Xbox Series X to to where I'm at right now. Something happened. And my my tastes have changed in in that time frame. So the, the first game that I got um, after after playing games at 4K on Xbox One X because we got some sharp, crisp games and it looked fine. And then we move over to the next generation, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla is the first game I played. And that game's soft. It looks fairly soft, especially when you're playing at 60 frames per second on the Xbox Series X. That game is soft. So. Over the 160 hours that I put into that game, I started developing this this preference for a softer experience. And when I would play games that looked crisp, and it, and it would just kind of it just kept bouncing apart. And I play a lot of open world games, and a lot of the open world games were soft. So over that time, I built up a tolerance, and I got used to it. And now it's my preferred way to look at that. And when I play on AMD. So when I play on when I play on Nvidia with it with with DLSS it makes everything crisp. When I play on AMD with FSR it makes everything still look soft. You you see where I'm going with this? Like I can get a softer looking image that I prefer and to me in my eyes that looks better. It looks more dense, it looks more it just looks fabulous, my friends. I love it. I love it. It looks like cake. It looks like velvet cake in my eyes. And the other one just looks like plastic, you know, plastic or cake. I'm going to go with the cake, man. I like cake, cake, plastic, cake. So I'm not saying that anybody's crazy. I'm just saying that like my, my tastes for image quality have changed and I like that and I'm fine with that. So, and, and so like, I like to play at 1440p on the monitor because I like to down sample. I like to, I like to just smash all the pixels into that 1440p frame and, and rock it. And it looks incredible to me. Like I like it. It looks good. I mean, that's what I that's what I like. See, this is my preference. You came to my channel to listen to what I have to say. And I guess, yeah, dude, it, I I mean I get how it could come off as me trying to make other people sound crazy or whatever, because I like 1440p and they like 4K. I'm not trying to though. I'm not trying to. But you see, we'll, we'll go through these comments and you'll see why why it's like it's like a I don't care type deal. It's like I like what I like and I'm not going to let you change my mind just because you're screaming at me. 1510. I have come to this conclusion too. I am as well as... Ah, uh, yeah. Whatever. 
And then we got a smiley face, a whole bunch of smiley faces, an OMG, and a bunch more smiley faces. Don't mess with the frog in his virtual, separu uh, virtual super resolution. You better not. I love virtual super resolution. I think it's fabulous. Quit laughing. Echo. Yes. Let me address that last video. There was an echo. So what I've been trying to do is record um, both on Streamlabs and on the camera at the same time using two different microphones. Um, I just didn't get that one synced good enough. This time I'm just doing it on one microphone. The last time I did not have it synced, so it did not come out well. I apologize for that, my friends. But that was a good video and a long video, and I couldn't, there's no way in hell I would have ever been able to re-say all of that stuff <laughs> the same way. So I don't think you need it. Just sell it. Get your money back. It's already sits on yourself. Absolutely. It just sits there. <laughs> Wait till Wukong comes out. Might change your mind. Absolutely not going to change my mind because I have... I've got about like 30% interest in that game. Not a whole lot. Um, I think it looks cool. But I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm 100% interested in it to the point where, where it's like I got I to gotta get it. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't... I'm not... I, I don't really... I don't really care much for... Yeah, dude, I don't know. Probably not going to probably not going to change anything well but it's simple you don't care about rt and pt then just sell it buddy it'll be a lot of damn money just sitting on the shelf yep that's exactly where i come from man it's just sitting on the shelf it's money wasted money just sitting on the shelf because i'm not going to use it and that's become apparent like yesterday when i put the when i put the 4080 super back in there i could not wait to get my amd card back in there so yeah dude it's just sitting there it's a it's money on the shelf did you repaste the graphics card? Um, blah, no, I did not. I, I, that was a that was a satire video. That was a video to to like, you know, be like, why would you do that? Why why, why would you repaste the card that you just got? Just send it back and get another one. Why would you do that? Why? I mean, you've only had it for a few months. Send it back. Okay, dokie. I play 4K, so 4080 all day. Good luck, Black Myth Kong. 48, dude. Nobody's playing that game with ray tracing on it. Nobody. Nobody's playing that game with ray tracing on it. You know why? Because it, it's it's 75 frames with DLSS balanced and freaking frame generation enabled. Nobody is playing that type of a game with ray tracing. Sorry. That's not a fluid experience. So I wouldn't I would why would I play that? Why, why would I play it like that? I'm going to play it at native resolution if I buy it. Or not native, but w w whatever I have to without ray tracing so that it feels better. <laughs> that is a game that must feel better than look better, to be completely honest with you. Glad you're happy with the AMD experience, brother. It's lovely, but I can't listen to the entire video because the audio echo was giving me a headache. I apologize for that. Sorry, I will. If the From now on, whatever one the audio sounds better on, I will just use that one. Uh, what happened when he switched to the XTX card? It's so confusing. Uh, not, uh, yeah, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I know I'd be using the XTX more than the 4080. I think I think I said that to you on Twitter. The 4080, the first descendant, is my game. Tara did a video. I think sell it, Frog, and put the money away. That's just so long to read. Um, I already read it once, but I get I get what you're saying. Yeah, obviously. So. Those are those comments. Let's see if there's any more yet. Oh my gosh, already. How much would I sell it? Um, I'm, I'm, I put $900 on it. I put $900 on it. If I can get my nine, if I can get at least $900 back, I'd be happy. Uh, 1130 Brother, the latest iterations of DLSS is nearly indistinguishable from native resolution at the quality setting in 1440p, so there is an argument for free performance. On a game-by-game -game basis, the majority of people with those cards are playing at 1080p anyways, albeit at this tier of hardware, you are often turning down settings from Ultra anyways. You need to spend at least 670 or above to get a 7900 XT or 4070 Ti Super cards to play these latest games comfortably without upscaling at max settings. So by your logic, 95% of the people are having a compromised experience on PC, also AMD's upscaling is still an order of magnitude behind nvidia in motion it's really bad in the descendant uh you should see yourself but let's not act like you're let's not act like 
using ray tracing on AMD isn't a compromised experience. The reality is like, but so what, what, what is all of that? What is all of that? Well, like seriously, like dude, if, if I don't care for ray tracing on Nvidia, why would I care for it on AMD? I mean, well, that, that doesn't even make any sense. Like what, what, what do you, what are you getting at? What are you getting at? Is that, is that a, please don't talk bad about my, my, my NVIDIA? Like, like, what is that comment? What does that even mean? I mean, you are free to buy whatever GPU you want. As soon as you start paying my bills and going and doing my job and making my money for me, then you can tell me how to spend my money and what to be happy with. As it sits right now, that's almost $1,200 just sitting on a shelf. I, I have no desire to use NVIDIA. It's just sitting there literally just sitting there i mean you want me to keep it so your feelings aren't hurt over over nvidia is that is that what you guys are saying you're like just 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 don't just just don't say nothing bad about my my nvidia i don't care about nvidia i don't nvidia has had their opportunity to win me over and the more you guys come to the channel and freaking get mad and hype it up and I, I, I'm perfectly capable. I'm a grown ass man, dude. I've been supporting myself since I'm 17 years old. I'm pretty sure I'm pretty capable of deciding what I like for myself. You, you know what I mean? Like, I don't need somebody to tell me what to like. I, I, I don't. Now, you, you know, it's crazy, man. Like, everybody gets so freaking uppity on this whole marketing stuff. When it, when it comes to when it comes to like Nvidia and AMD and all of this stuff and to be completely honest with you guys if if Nvidia filled or fulfilled the 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 stuff that I want it to fulfill and and it was fun and it looked good and it was great no question I would love it dude everybody says that Sony cameras are the best and I agree with them I, I think this is incredible I, I I haven't tried any other cameras but I I love this experience the, Nvidia is the only thing that everybody says is the best that well, PlayStation. I mean, PlayStation obviously makes some good games, but they're kind of like it's 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 kind of went weird this generation for me. But but it's the same with Nvidia. Like everybody says they're the best, but I'm not feeling that. I'm I, I'm not feeling that. But if you are, have fun with it, man. That's that's your prerogative. I don't know advantages the 7900 XTX has over the 4080 Super. Besides you saying you like the colors better, um, I like the colors better. It's got more VRAM. It's definitely a stronger card. It's got 384-bit bus. I can run games at 8K resolution and then downsample them. I can't do that on a 4080 Super. It only goes to like 6K. Um, <laughs> you, you know what I mean? There's there's a lot more than just the colors um there the, the really is the 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 adrenaline software is absolutely incredible i don't have to fidget around and play around in three different windows i could just get right into a to, to adrenaline software set up everything the way i want to and then bam i'm into my games and i'm playing and i'm having fun the drivers are stable the build quality of the freaking card that i got from xfx is absolutely mind-blowing and significantly better than the uh gigabyte oc card or the the msi cards that i've gotten from the only solid built card i've gotten from nvidia was the freaking founders edition so yeah trust me there's a lot more that are better about amd than what's going on with the with the nvidia things and amd has been consistent from the 7600 xt all the way up to the 7900 xtx it's been a consistent good experience for me so i don't know man whatever you need to fill um hands up and crying laughing emoji i mean like this is funny i mean uh, okay uh so i'm fortunate enough to have been to create two rigs one a 7800 x3d paired with a 4070 super the other has a 7600 paired with a 7900 gre i absolutely love the amd adrenaline software default visual vibrancy and virtual super resolution but for some odd reason i can't get cyberpunk to boot on my AMD rig, I get consistent driver crashes and timeouts. After having booted up the game and running it for two minutes, I fully report every crash uh, to AMD Fortnite. Fortnite is a stutter fest every day too. It takes about four to five matches for the frame rate to finally smooth out. A lot of a lot of folks love to rag on Fortnite, but I play with my 12-year-old daughter. Um, yeah, dude. Every time I've tried to get into, every time I tried to get into, uh, um, 
uh, Cyberpunk, it's always ran good for me on the AMD card. No, no stuttering or anything like that. And I don't play Fortnite, so I, I don't know what to tell you on that one. Going back and forth on whether to make my GRE my primary GPU, but I've decided to keep the TI Super as my main gaming rig. I'm hoping that AMD can get their Radeon drivers perfected. I don't think it's the drivers, to tell you the truth, man. I, I don't. I'm not having those problems, so I don't I don't know what to tell you. How much would you sell it? Um, I'm okay. I think these are already there. So, all right. Why? Why did all these get freaking like regurgitated, man? I just read all these. Ah, let me see. So, all right, guys. Just the just the comments. Every time. Every time. You know what I mean? It's like I put these videos out to kind of, to kind of tell you guys where I'm think, thinking and how I'm feeling and. Like right out, right out of the freaking gate, man. You guys are like, just sell it, just sell it. So you don't have to talk about it no more. Yeah, I, I get it. That's what everybody else does. They just crumble and break at the knees for for Nvidia, and they just don't mention anything. You can't look me straight in the eyes and tell me that you guys are 100% happy. Maybe you are, man. Maybe, maybe you are. And if you're 100% happy with Nvidia, then I don't know. I don't know man maybe maybe it's not a me thing man maybe maybe it's maybe it's a you guys thing dude i don't i don't know i just i can tell like immediately that i don't really i'm, I'm not really super excited about the experience but then again i don't get the like the, the the butterflies in the pit of my stomach when i when i go pick up a new nvidia gpu and get it home like i don't get that i i, I just i get it i come home and then i play it and i'm like wait a minute dude <laughs> You know what I mean? But when I get with the AMD card and I come home and I plug it in and I play it, and I'm just like, oh yeah, more of more of the same. It's better. It's it's good, and it's it's weird. It's like more of the same AMD versus more of the same Nvidia. Yeah, I mean, I like the AMD thing, so more of the same is a good thing. I don't really care much for the Nvidia side, so more of the same thing would not be a good thing. I don't know how to tell you that, guys. I don't know. But look, man. No harm, no foul. I, I, I just, I'm not as interested. Like, like, guys, I'm actually, I'm actually to the point where I really just don't even care about this PC stuff anymore. Like, I, I, I don't even care. I, I, I don't even care. Like, this channel has just gone so freaking, it, it's all over the place now. And to tell you the truth, I don't care. Like, I don't care about the comments that you guys come and make. I don't care if you love NVIDIA. Like, I, I really just don't care anymore. It's to the point where I just don't care. I, I'm, huh. I almost want to just start making freaking camera videos. Seriously, just give up on games and start making camera videos. I, I, seriously, I mean that's that's where I feel like I get pushed to. You know, I I I, oh, I don't want to be a freaking console warrior. I really don't want to be a GPU warrior. Plus, I can't afford. I, I really can't afford to go out and buy a whole bunch of GPUs every every generation. Like I can't do that. I don't want to do that. Um, so I don't know. I don't know where I'm going with all of this. I, I I don't know where I'm going with all of this. I figure get rid of the NVIDIA GPU. Stick to what I like. AMD. I like AMD. It does a good enough job for me. I'm pretty sure it's good enough for, for a lot of people. So that was that's kind of my, my train of thought. Like I don't really care to be a GPU guy. I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit and buy all these GPUs and um Yeah, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know where to go from here. I don't know where to go from here. So we'll figure it out. I'll keep posting stuff and people will either watch it or they won't. I mean, I like creating content. I like being a YouTuber. So I'll just create whatever I want to create. And if you watch it, you watch it. If you don't, you don't. Like, it is what it is. I'll, I'll worry about that. But at least then I won't be out there blowing a whole bunch of money on stuff that I don't care about, that I don't want to use, that I don't need. And I could just focus on making the content that I want to make and... Yeah, I, I don't know. So we'll find out, guys. If you like this content, do not forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. And yes, there will be a next one. <laughs>